<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Tempe Creek where we talk about our winery, vineyard, and homesteading operations. If you're into that sort of content, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future content. My name is Michael and today I'm going to show you all the methods for hand bottling your wine. Alright guys, so let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the double lever corker. One of these guys, this is what most people have. I'm also going to show you guys how to um, use a floor corker, which is basically the same thing as a counter corker. They work the same way. And then the last uh, method is a little bit controversial, but I'm going to show you guys how to use the boot method if you're in a pinch. All right, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, guys, the first one we're going to go ahead and try out is going to be our double lever. Uh, hand corker. This is what most homemakers have in their house um, And so let's go ahead and get into it first The first thing you need to know is that on this corker. There's a front and a back. That's the front Or the back it doesn't really matter But this space right here is an empty space for your cork So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that bad boy in there and now it's locked and loaded so these corks are really difficult in my opinion. I always feel like I'm gonna break the bottle. Um, and then oftentimes you see people trying to actually do it on a surface like this. Um, you can do it that way, but you're losing a lot of leverage. And so what I'm gonna do is the way I bottle it. What I do guys is I actually put it on the floor. This gives you the most amount of leverage um, and it actually ends up being the easiest in my opinion. So you'll go ahead and press down. And there you got it. You'll hear, you'll hear a little click. And that was it. Um, you're using your body weight as well. And that's what makes it a little bit easier instead of just brute forcing it all the way through. Speed will help you um, except doing it with a double lever corker. Speed's kind of scary because it always feels like your bottle's gonna slip from under you or you're, that you're gonna break the bottle. Another thing to consider is that the corker leaves a weird impression on the cork. Um, if you care about that, that's something to consider if you're gonna use this method. If you're gonna do anything more than a couple cases, I would not recommend this. This actually takes a lot of energy and like I said before, it's kind of scary. It feels like it's gonna break at any moment. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this floor cork Next, I'm going to show you guys how to use this floor corker. God, it's hard to say. Um, it's the same thing as a counter one. Uh, the, the mechanics are the same. So it's suitable to learn for both methods right here. Um, this is what we use pretty much exclusively. If, if I'm in a pinch and at the house and I just uh, need to cork something at the house, I will use a double uh, lever one because um, we have one at the house. But this, whenever we're bottling our, our vents, this is what we use. All right, so here we have our floor corker. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. Right here, you'll see that there is actually a little spot where the cork and where we put the cork in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna load my bottle. One thing to note is you see how this is on a mat? Or actually, I recommend putting it on something um, because the after a while, it starts to dig into whatever your countertop or your floor and so it will start create divots into your wood or whatever i guess you, if you're you can do it on carpet but then if you mess up which you will um, we have wine on your carpet uh so just gotta buy a mat for it this is actually the map to uh the front door so i didn't have to buy anything extra i'll go ahead and load it to there and it's still not in at this point but what you want to do if you just press it in, it will go in some, but it usually doesn't go in all the way. And so what we want to do is actually hold the bottle steady, press up, and then push down. And so that now, I have a perfectly bottled bottle. Bottle, bottle, cork bottle. Another thing to note, I'm actually way below the tip cork of the bottle, the top of the bottle there, you can see. Um, there is a, screw over here there is a screw mechanism right here that allows you to measure how deep the cork will go into um, and so just do a couple test runs at the beginning get your depth right and then go at it 
So there you have it guys. If this was helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps me out so that the algorithm can push this out to other people. And if you want to be super cool, why don't you just go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well. And check out these other videos. Oh, I forgot. Let me go ahead and show you my boot method. This is a long time family secret. I didn't want to share it with you guys, but I will go ahead and do it. Gotta place your cork there. Grab your boot. All right guys, and then you hold it to stabilize it and 